On Sunday evening, a stabbing occurred near a Starbucks in downtown Vancouver, which resulted in the death of 37-year-old Paul Stanley Schmidt. 32-year-old Inderdeep Singh Gasal has been charged with second-degree murder. Neither the victim nor the suspect knew each other and had no prior police records. The area around the coffee shop was busy with shoppers and other passers-by at the time of the incident, and a police officer on patrol was flagged down by members of the public arresting the suspect at the scene. Vancouver police are now looking to speak with any witness who saw the aftermath of the stabbing or anyone who might have cell phone video which is a little curious because as the article tells us there is video circulating on social media that is disturbing and graphic and I've seen it it is disturbing it is graphic I'll tell you a little bit about it in a moment Vancouver police are asking people not to share the video but to turn it over to Vancouver Police Department I'm sure they have it by now and I'm surprised they didn't have it in the first instance investigators are trying to piece together what events may have led up to the fatal stabbing so this occurred sunday i do try to make the videos pretty quickly i haven't been able to do that in this case more details have come to light on the internet threads that i have a quick look at so there is video and essentially we see someone walk up to Paul Stanley Schmidt. Paul Stanley Schmidt seems to be coming out of the Starbucks, clasping his belly, bleeding profusely. The stabbers, if I understand correctly, perhaps I don't. If I get some of the details wrong, so be it. But it seems to me that the stabber, Inderdeep Singh Gasal, is standing in the doorway. Maybe I've got that part wrong. But he seems to, the stabber uh, is still there. He hasn't fled the scene. And we see Paul Stanley Schmidt talk for a moment or two. And then he kind of lays down, he lies down and then he stops moving all within a matter of seconds and it turns out that he was pronounced deceased at the scene so it is an absolute tragedy it was a hundred percent caught on video well maybe not a hundred percent the aftermath was caught on video there's a guy sitting in the starbucks carrying on drinking his coffee more probably more than one guy but certainly there's a guy who's six foot away from the dying and then deceased paul stanley smith he carries on drinking his coffee he doesn't get involved as i say the video comes from at least one person recording this one person walks up i think he crosses the street videoing what he sees and he comes up closer oh look at this oh isn't this exciting that kind of vibe can't remember exactly what he says but it's like that we have a problem in society we've got a million different problems in society i mean okay so part of the problem is why wasn't anyone intervening that is something that needs to be questioned why wasn't anyone intervening why were why Why was everyone there so willing not to intervene, so willing just to be a bystander, so willing to overlook this situation, this violent situation, just as long as it didn't affect them? So that's one thing. But having said that, I don't wish to be too hypocritical. Having said that, what are we to do? Are we supposed to run into someone who's just stabbed and potentially killed someone? And now we're going to fight that person? I don't feel like doing that. It's not my fight. Why would I risk myself? Why would I make uh, risk my own life, my own health, my own well-being? Why do that? And I'm not talking just from my own point of view. I am talking from my own point of view. But, you know, that's what everyone else is thinking too. No one wants to get involved. What about the employees? Should they get involved? Should they risk their lives? Or they are getting a minimum $15 per hour, whatever it is, after all. No, of course they shouldn't. So, you know, this lack of intervention, is it wrong? Or is that just how things are? And that's just how things are going to be. That's one thing to consider. The whole lack of intervention as a subject to consider. I don't know what the answer is. I think uh, the answer is shit I don't want to do it and these guys don't want to get involved either so it is what it is kind of seems that way there's a lack of community a lack of social cohesion and it is what it is you know perhaps we all feel we're being shafted by society in a million different ways so why should we literally put ourselves in physical danger Um, okay so that's one point another point is why did it need to come to violence? Why did it need to come to murder? 32-year-old Inderdeep Singh Gasal, he's a Sikh, I believe. Could and Apologies if I get any of this wrong. I've not studied this. I've just seen a thread or two. 32-year-old Inderdeep Singh Gasal is a Sikh, I believe, of Indian descent, if I have that correctly. So he's an immigrant into the country of Canada. A legal immigrant, I would imagine, but an immigrant nonetheless. Is that relevant? I kind of feel it is. Am I being racist? No. 
No, I don't think so. I think we need to consider actual situations. And I don't know, to me, it, you know, one way to look at this situation, is only one way to look at this situation, is to think, well, look, you've got someone that's come over from another country, from another culture. They've come over here. They've decided to stab somebody. Why? For no real reason. No real reason. So again, what I've seen on the internet is that the actual reason for the stabbing is because the stabber, Indadeep Singh Gasal, was smoking a vape next to a toddler and I believe that was Paul Stanley Schmidt's child and Paul Stanley Schmidt was going up to the guy apparently in a semi-aggressive way and perhaps even touched uh Indadeep Singh Gasal to some extent put hands on him to some extent you know not punched him or anything but you know I don't know exactly but apparently it was an argument about vaping Paul didn't want Indadeep Singh Gasal vaping next to his toddler or a toddler Indadeep Singh Gasal didn't appreciate Paul's interaction and that that's what led to a stabbing and that's such a shame isn't it such a trivial thing leading to the loss of a life of a father of a husband I believe should Paul have confronted the guy well I would think that Paul had a right to confront the guy I don't think it's right to blame Paul in the expectation that this could have happened but maybe I'm wrong I mean the reality is that somebody turning around and stabbing or otherwise killing or violently attacking Paul Stanley Schmidt for going up and causing a confrontation that is a possible result and maybe it's just too risky nowadays to confront people i like confronting people i like it a lot i get really annoyed when i see people doing the wrong thing you know people like delivery drivers parking on the pavement parking on the sidewalk which they shouldn't be doing things like that somewhat trivial things but they do it all day every day you know they disregard the rules the the laws of the land because it benefits them it, it's more convenient for them to break the law as opposed to a by the law and that annoys me uh, it riles me up I like nothing more than confronting people over such trivial things and I've done so dozens of times I've gotten into an altercation or three touched on violence to an extent but I've got to stop doing that I, I think I have almost stopped doing that I haven't quite I did it the other day uh, but I have slowed down but the reason why I really ought to stop is because this kind of situation can and does happen it's a real shame that it happens it shouldn't happen we ought to be able to confront one another our neighbors our fellow city dwellers hey there buddy you're doing the wrong thing not just in my opinion but by the law you know or by common sense do you mind being a reasonable human being and stop doing that please thank you i don't think that makes us an automatic karen or a kevin not if we're in the right you know i mean if if, if we're actually right and saying hey look you shouldn't be doing that you're trespassing on others in one way or another then and I don't think that makes us a Karen. Anyway, I've gone on a massive ramble there for those that enjoy the massive ramble. But those who don't, you know, you probably clicked out after a minute or two. And that's all good. So it is a tragedy. Of course, full condolences to the family and friends of the victim, 37-year-old Paul Stanley Schmidt. Seemingly stabbed to death at a Starbucks whilst being videoed. Guys, not intervening is one thing. But video recording, I don't know, man. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. Someone may have been in a position to assist the man it may have stopped him from dying it may not have but i don't know it would be as understandable as the lack of intervention is it would be nice to see some level of intervention or at the very least put the cameras down guys